to talk to you about one of the largest barriers that come to patient compliance with the medication. They don't understand what to take or how to take it. So one of the things that we're going to talk to you about today is how to train your patient to take their inhaler correctly in a way that's meaningful to them. So I really want to speak to you cl clinicians out there today. I'm actually a respiratory therapist, so medication technique and respiratory medications has been a long-standing passion of mine. I really, really want to see my patients succeed. So to do that, we need to speak very clearly to them. There are a number of things on the market right now that can help us with uh, patient education and inhaler training. And one of the most important things that we've all been in, encouraged to do is to teach and to require teach back. We turn demonstration from our patients. So we're going to do that today. And I'm going to show you a device called the AIM, the Aerosol Inhalation Monitor, manufactured by Vitalograph, one of our corporate partners. Now, I've used this device in my clinical practice long before I was ever involved with Vitalograph on a corporate level. So I can tell you that it's very, very effective for patients. The other thing that I've used prior to using this is something that you're probably very familiar with, the in-check dial. Now the in-check dial is a great device, however, it means very little to our patients. To us, it does, because we're looking for that specific clinical flow range for that inhaler. So let me show you something that kind of bridges the gap. This is the AIM. And so it's very, very portable. It runs on AAA batteries. So you can fit it right into your lab coat pocket and carry that right into the patient's room, okay? The first thing that we wanna talk about is what inhaler the patient's gonna take. Now we have three different combinations available for teaching on the AIM, the HFA alone, the HFA with chamber, and then the dry powder inhaler, the DPI. So we also utilize simulators for that. And each patient will receive their own simulator. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the MDI, the PMDI. You all are all familiar with this. So to use this, we're simply going to take and plug the simulator into the back of the tubing. Now this tubing is gonna register the amount of flow via a pressure transducer. And in the pulmonary, especially in the pulmonary function world, we're very familiar with uh, flow, transducers, flow transducers. So I get a little bit closer to the camera so you can see really what you're looking at. Now, you can see, and I apologize for the reflection, now you can see that at the top of the device, we're, with the lights flashing, we're to select which device we're using. So we're gonna select the PMDI. Now we're looking for a couple of things. Number one, I wanna make sure that my patient can deploy their PMDI. And then I wanna see if they have good inspiratory flow or an average flow. Right here in the center is kind of average flow. And then I wanna see how long the patient's inspiratory time is. I'm gonna look for breath hold time and then I'm gonna share with my patient their medication deposition. So to take your inhaler, And it will time back out, or I can push the button. And you notice that I didn't do a very good job. Now, that shows you why your patient needs a, a chamber. It's a very good, very good way to make your case to them. I don't typically have very good technique without a chamber. Some patients may, but the majority of them are gonna have the same situation happen. So what I'm going to take and add my chamber here and simply select the next device that I want to utilize. And then I can push the button 
and you can see that I deployed my inhaler properly. I had good median flow, good inspiratory time, good breath hold time, and I had optimal deposition. This is what we want to show our patients. And the great thing is that you can repeat this thing over and over and over until they actually get it. Very important. So this is PMDI. Now I'm going to show you the dry powder version. So here's your simulator. It's kind of a funny looking little guy here. I use it when I teach patients how to take a dry powder inhaler without having to take medication. The next thing you want to do is select your dry powder equation because the inspiratory flow requirement for a dry powder inhaler is tremendously more than for a PMDI. So go ahead and fit that on there. And you'll note that your tubing and your simulators only fit one way, so you can't do this wrong. We'll put it right together. Got my medication device selected, and now I'm ready to take it. Simply push the button and you can see how well I did. So I had decent inspiratory flow rate, a good nice mean flow rate. I could breathe in a little bit longer. My inspiratory time was a little lacking. I had a good breath hold time and I hit my aphases with that. So my upper, my upper lobes. Pretty good, but maybe I should do a little bit better, okay? So you've seen each one of the flow ranges and where your medication deposition can land. This is very important to show your patients. The one thing that I didn't show you is that on the PMDI that we're utilizing, a placebo inhaler. So you're not, this can be utilized from patient to patient, multi-use, you just wanna clean the tip. The simulators are disposable and your device runs on AAA batteries. So if it doesn't work, just go grab another battery out of the cabinet turn it on, you're ready to go again. Very, very simple, ingenious design. I would love to share with you some of the articles supporting this particular device in clinical use. For instance, the study from Gina and the study that was done by a pharmaceutical group here in South Carolina. Go ahead and visit us at carolinadiagnosticsolutions.com. Be sure to message me if you have any questions and we look forward to talking to you soon.